The Opel Ampera is an extended range electric vehicle, in short, an e-rev. An extended range electric vehicle is an electric car with an extended driving range. It runs as a pure electric car until the electricity stored in its lithium-ion battery runs down to a minimum level. When that happens, a small internal combustion engine kicks in to seamlessly produce electricity and sustain the battery that drives the car. So an e-rev can travel hundreds of kilometers more than it could if it relied only on its battery power. The electric propulsion system inside the Ampera makes it all possible. This includes a T-shaped battery pack, a 111 kilowatt electric drive unit, and an engine generator for electricity. But why bother with an extended driving range vehicle? Say you have a battery only electric car. You take it out for a drive and everything is great. You're cruising along, it's quiet and there aren't any emissions. You're feeling really good about the part you're playing to preserve the environment. But then you exhaust the battery. You need to find a place to plug it in and you need a few hours to recharge the battery. What if you're going to work? Your boss isn't going to be happy waiting for your car to charge. What if you're going to your wedding ceremony? Or what if your family is sitting in the back seat? A job interview, a flight to catch. Worrying about the battery running out of electricity is called range anxiety. <laughs> Thanks to an e-rev's innovative range extender, range anxiety is a thing of the past. Because who needs more anxiety in their life? The e-rev electric propulsion system operates in four modes. Here's a chart that explains it all. It's a bit complicated, but don't worry. You already know the basic principles, so let's look at them in more detail. First is the electric vehicle mode. In this mode, the Opel Ampera operates as a pure electric car with the battery-powered motor providing all of the propulsion. Electricity is stored in and is supplied by the cutting-edge 16 kilowatt lithium-ion battery pack containing more than 200 individual battery cells. As you drive, the charge level in the battery will begin to drop. But you'll notice that the charge also goes up from time to time. That's because the Ampera uses regenerative braking technology. That means the Ampera captures the energy created when you step on the brake and converts it into electricity that goes back into the battery. So using the brakes in stop-and-go traffic actually helps restore the battery charge. You can drive the Ampera on pure electricity up to 60 kilometers without using a drop of gasoline. That's the distance from Frankfurt to Rüsselsheim and back, or from London to Reading, or from Paris to Versailles and back. Just think about how far you need to drive for your daily commute. If you are among the 80% of Europeans who travel less than 50 kilometers daily, you would be driving on pure electricity most of the time. In the meantime, you won't sacrifice performance. The Ampera's nearly silent electric drive unit delivers the equivalent of 150 horsepower, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour acceleration of around 9 seconds, and a top speed of 161 kilometers per hour. Now that you understand the electric vehicle mode, let's move on to the extended range mode. OK, so let's say you take your family out for a Sunday drive in your Ampera. Perhaps you want to drive from Frankfurt to Cologne and back, which is about 400 kilometers. This is the point in a purely electric car when you would come down with a serious case of range anxiety. But in the Ampera, when the battery reaches a minimum charge, the range extender, a small internal combustion engine fueled with gasoline or E85, kicks in. The range extender starts seamlessly providing electricity to power the Ampera's electric drive unit. At the same time, it sustains the charge of the battery in a predetermined level. The range extender stretches the Ampere's range to more than 500 kilometers. Control systems within the battery pack prevent it from fully discharging, which can shorten the battery's life. Plus, the whole idea of the e-rev is to minimize the use of gasoline. That's right, the only way to fully recharge the battery is to plug the Ampere into an electrical outlet. The cost of electricity is about one-sixth of the cost of gasoline, at a gasoline price of 1.5 euros per litre, so plugging in the vehicle to charge the battery costs a lot less than filling up a conventional car with gasoline. Charge Mode 
The charge mode begins when you finish your journey. Just plug the Ampera into any standard 230 or 120 volt outlet for charging. The vehicle's intelligent charging technology enables the Ampera's battery to charge fully in about three hours. Of course, there may be times when you don't have three hours to wait. No worries. When required, thanks to the range extender, the Ampera is able to operate before it finishes charging. Once the battery is fully charged, the Opel Ampera is ready for the next 60 kilometers of pure electric driving and hundreds more kilometers of extended range travel. Now you understand how the Ampera's extended range mode works. But the beauty of the E-Rev is that you really don't have to worry about how it works. The Ampera's electric propulsion system does all the work for you automatically. You just have to do the driving. So to recap, the Opel Ampera is an electrically driven car with a pure battery range of about 60 kilometers. After 60 kilometers, a small range extending engine kicks in. It doesn't power the car, it does maintain a minimum level of charge in the battery that allows you to travel more than 500 kilometers on one full tank of fuel. Once your journey is over, just plug the Ampera into any electrical outlet and after about three hours it will be fully charged. The Ampera is cheaper to refuel than a gasoline automobile, better for the environment and eliminates any range anxiety you might suffer in a purely battery powered car.